In this video, I'm going to talk about withdrawal pains when you stop drinking or when you drink less. Be sure you stick to the end because I'm going to give you some herbs, good natural herbs and some tricks how to handle the first few days in case you should have withdrawal pains, which is very often not the case. I'm Daniel Chi from Control Your Drinking Habits Easily, where I teach you how to handle alcohol and how to manage the whole topic, how to control your drinking habits or how to stop completely. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you like the video, if the content in this video gives you some value, I would highly appreciate a like. Now, withdrawal pains. I very often get the message from people and they ask me how bad it's going to be when they stop. Will they suffer a lot? How to treat withdrawal pains? And if it's all worth it? So there's a lot of myth, a lot of lies and a lot of half truth. First of all, we have to differentiate between drinker and drinker. There is the high functional drinker or functional drinker like I was, like almost 99.9% .9 of all the men I work with are. These are drinkers. We have our careers, we have our families, we have our businesses and you don't even notice that we drink too much and too often. And these kind of drinkers, all of them, they don't have any withdrawal pain at all. Yes, I said it. Yes, I know doctors and Western medicine state it differently. But it's their business to do so. And it's my business to tell you the truth about it. Now, I helped a lot of men all over the planet. They all free. They Every single one of them don't drink anymore at all. And guess what? None of them had any withdrawal pain. I had one guy last week, one bottle of gin every day, no withdrawal pain. Myself, liters and liters of beer every single day, no withdrawal pain. Another guy, French man, up to 10 liters of wine red wine every single day no pain one bottle of whiskey every single day no pain now let's talk about that 0.1 percent of drinkers the one that unfortunately and that breaks my heart are the ones that have hands trembling when they don't have their first drink they cannot speak straight without a drink they sweat without a drink and those are the kind of drinkers, but those are also the, these guys, you notice that they have a booze problem. But these are the kind of drinkers, they will have a lot of withdrawal pains. They will suffer like for one or two weeks. But even then, it's no solution to take any drug. And it's no solution, in my opinion, to listen too much to your doctors. Because it's a business to give you, to sell you other drugs. So, my advice for these drinkers is do professional detoxication first. Then you come back and talk to me. Because the thing is, my method works with your mind. As I call it, a positive brain. I will show you things that go wrong in society. I will show you things and tell you things that go wrong in modern medicine and I will teach you that it's not your fault you have been trapped in an ingenious trap and I will teach you a lot of things about your body about your mind that are completely different than 90% or 95% of all people seem to know about alcohol therefore you need an open mind now it's well known that alcohol narrows the mind a lot of people also they think they are highly spiritual when they're drunk. It's not true. 
Spirituality begins only once you're sober, once you stop drinking. Now, this 1%, please do a professional detoxification and after to not fall into the same patterns again, come and talk to me or to one of these numbers guys like me out there on the World Wide Web. There are former drinkers like me and they help you as good as I do. But please, the mission is, the goal is that we eliminate this poison, this drug altogether from society. It does not any good. It doesn't do any good to your family, to your business, to your life, to your health. It's, uh, but you know that. All right. Now, as I said, why the myth of this withdrawal pain being awful and unbearable still holds up. The internet is full of it. Go Google it. It's full of it. Even look at YouTube here, search for it. Withdrawal pains, you get tons of results. And that's why I do this video to rectify a little bit. Now, a lot of people take these withdrawal pains as an excuse. Oh, it's too much. It's unbearable. I cannot take it. That's why it's better to not stop or even to not reduce by one drink. Classic excuse. Then, as stated before, Western medicine, it's a business. They want you to take drugs instead of drinking. Either you drink, which is fine for society, ooh, see, open mind, <laughs> or you take some drugs, which is fine for big pharma. But again, none of my business. It's their business. My business is to tell you another point of view about alcohol. So, either you believe your doctor that you will have awful pain and that you will have to take a lot of drugs to come up with this pain, to bear this pain, but it's not true. As I will tell you at the end of the video, there are some natural stuff that will help you. So, either it's an excuse or it's just another business. And I cannot tell this enough, you will not have any pain. Most of the things I had with one of my guys, but he had some other issues with his body. He had sleepless nights, like three, four sleepless nights. And after, after that, he was done too. So I told him, yeah, go up, watch Netflix, go for a night walk, midnight walk. It's very beautiful. Go to the beach, have a walk at the beach. Very beautiful. And even that guy, after four nights, done. So let me ask you one question, and I really want you to comment and to tell me what you think. What is better, to have at most one week of pain? And if I say pain, I mean sleepless night. Uh, maybe your appetite is not that good. Maybe um, you feel a little bit awkward or whatever. So one week of this compared to a whole life of freedom. Up to you. Tell me what you think. And I want you to do another thing after that. I'll give you these herbs and tricks to do in case you should have withdrawal pain. So, please do me a favor. Skip one drink. Just one. If you have one drink a week, skip a week. If you have one drink a day, skip a day. If you have three, four drinks a day, just skip the last one. Just one drink. And then please do me a favor and observe yourself the next day. And come back here, please, and comment down on the video and tell me how you feel the next day. If you have any pain or if you feel much better, much more focused, much more energetic, much more powerful and happier. I believe, and I know that from my customers, that it's the second case. It's the former. You will feel stronger, better, happier, performing much better in your job, with your family. Your kids will notice the difference. Just one drink. And if you succeed with that, next week, skip two drinks. And if you need help with that, you know where to find me. I'm glad to talk to you. I'm glad to help you out. 
even if you don't buy my program, I'm here to help. Now, and I have to read this because it's not my speciality, it's not my expertise, nutrition. I have friends doing that. So they told me the following. Damiana is a herb that enhances the mood and reduces the cravings, which helps a lot when you stop drinking. Passion flower and skull cap help re uh, relay and reduce withdrawal pains drastically. Then I did that too. Milk thistle for three months every day to make your liver go up again because our liver takes some hits during our drinking career. And this also applies for the 99% of drinkers that we will not have any withdrawal pain. Build up your liver again. This is a very important part. But I'll do a video about this later. And it's also detoxication your whole body. So milk thistle, miracle plant. Then another point, and that comes from me, not from my friend specialist, cut down on junk food. We have the tendency to substitute alcohol with junk food. No good. Sugar, junk food, no good. Every once in a while, okay, but please don't substitute it instead of drinking alcohol. Then I prefer you drink a beer more than having junk food, believe me. Drink plenty of water. Always have your water bottle or your glass of water with you. Take sip after sip after sip after sip. You have to drink a lot. This will help your body. Go for a daily walk in nature, beach, woods, whatever, because nature has a high energy, positive energy that would help you a lot. Omega-3 oil is for mood improving, but also for whole system, very good. Magnesium citrate activates all the enzymes we lost while drinking. And then ashwagandha, fix chemicals, uh, imbalances, which also, you know that we poison ourselves with alcohol. So whenever you poison your body, there are imbalances, which we have to fix again. And mucuna prurians will help your brain produce the dopamine again. Dopamine is that happiness hormone. You will need it. <laughs> you will get it back naturally, but in the beginning, it's good to help your system a little bit. So you see, I read this because I asked a friend of mine, what is good? He told me that I will link to his channel, to his page as soon he is online. He's not yet online. He's preparing this because this is not my expertise, but this helps. I trust my friend. But what my expertise is, is what I said before and what I will tell you now. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up. Highly appreciate it. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You will get more and more content from here, which I hope is valuable for you. And please do me a favor. Just cut down one drink. Skip the last drink of the evening. You will see it does miracle. And forget about withdrawal pain. You will not have any. Otherwise, if you think that you are one of these functional drinkers like I was and all the guys I helped and you have withdrawal pain, comment below and we'll have a chat about it. Okay? I'm Daniel Chi. See you.